It was a local crime that shocked the nation. A 12 year old girl stabbed 19 times by two of her classmates. They were trying to please a make believe character called the Slender Man. And for the first time, the victim's mother explains the impact on her daughter and the reason the family agreed to plea deals for the two girls charged. Tonight, Katie Crowther has a look at that letter sent to the judge from the family in this case, Katie. Carol and Steve, the letter details the physical and emotional pain that Peyton Leitner and her family have gone through since Peyton was stabbed by her friends at a Waukesha County Park on May 31st, 2014. The letter is addressed to the judge who will decide the fate of the girls who attacked her daughter. Painful reminders of the crime are all over Peyton's body. 19 visible scars on her arms, legs, hip, torso, and chest. And surgeries to repair her heart, diaphragm, liver, stomach, and pancreas left six more scars, her mom Stacy writes. But her wounds are far beyond physical. For months after the attack, Peyton would only speak to me. She was afraid to sleep in her room, Stacy says. She slept with scissors under her pillow and to this day makes sure all the windows and doors are tightly locked. This Thursday, one of the girls who attacked Peyton, Anissa Wire, has a sentencing hearing. Morgan Geysers is in February. Both girls, who were 12 at the time of the stabbing, were awarded plea deals that will send them to a mental health facility rather than prison. For how long is what a judge still needs to determine. In her letter, Stacy tells the judge her family accepted the plea deals because it was the best thing to do to ensure Peyton would not have to testify and relive the trauma in front of strangers in court. And while Peyton believes a mental health facility is the best place for Morgan and Anissa, she still fears for her safety and will not feel safe if either Morgan or Anissa are released back in the community unsupervised. They obviously do still have a lot of healing to do and to read Stacy Leitner's entire letter to the judge, just go to TMJ4.com and click on the link to this story.